Hey everyone, my name is Jill Buck and today I'll show you how to create a soft and smooth style as well as share some second day hairstyling hacks with the T3 Edge Heated Smoothing and Styling Brush. So we all know that day two hair comes with a little bit of oil, a little bit of frizz, sometimes our hairline gets a little messed up and our ends unpolish. So I'm gonna use the T3 Edge in order to just re-smooth those areas and I don't have to create a full look. So especially after a workout, I find that I get a little wave pattern happening again right at my hairline. So I'm gonna take that section and really only go over the areas where it's needed. Because of those nylon brushes, I'm able to get a really good grip and slide down that hair, holding the ends for extra tension and control. Moving on to the other side, same thing. I'm gonna be taking this section forward so that I'm really getting up in there where that frizz is created as we sleep or after a workout and really making sure I get nice and tight through the hairline. Same thing, I'll work all the way through the hairline and just really seal that down. Going on the underside of the hair, keeping it really close to the scalp, lots of good tension, and working slow and smooth through the hair. Slow and steady wins the race. Finish the other side. sleek and smooth. Now because my hair feels a little bit oilier on day two, I'm gonna just transition this look and keep it and work with it and work with those oils, working them all the way down through the hair. So I'm going to take large sections about the width of the brush, no wider than that. And I'm gonna be working on the underside of the hair, with lots of good tension and going all the way down through those ends. Now by working with this oil, I'm really maximizing this look on my day two hair. The T3 Edge is creating all that beautiful shine for me again, and no one would ever know it's day two hair. I'm gonna continue all the way around the back, large sections, and I'm working the underside of that hair and finishing all the way through the ends. Now for those of you that have a little bit tighter of a curl, you can take more horizontal sectioning and really get up close into that root and re-smooth from the roots to the ends. The ceramic surface is what really helps to smooth and polish the hair. For those of you that really struggle with lots of flyaways through your crown, you can use a light structure hold spray, anything that's heat activated, and then using the edge heat, run over the top of those flyaways to really seal in the look. All right, that's it for this look, and no one would even know that this is my day two hair. Thanks to the edge tool, I'm able to work through my hair so quickly, and it just helps the shine to come back better than ever. Thanks so much for joining me today. Be sure to try out these techniques at home and leave a comment below with what you'd like to learn next.